What is up guys, Jesse here with Adventure Endeavor and today we've got a project. Love these project days. Uh, they're super fun and they add a lot of practicality to our grand design Imagine. If you know us, you know that we absolutely love to boondock. We have about 2,200 watts of solar. We have a composting toilet. We have a water bladder that we can transport from the vehicles uh, to pump water in here. But today we're gonna be adding a water tank to the neck of our trailer. You might be able to see right here, this big white thing is a water tank. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. And I'm gonna talk about some of the pros and cons of this. And overall, just kind of show you uh, our thoughts and our ideas on adding this external water tank. What I have here is I have a 40 gallon water tank. As you can tell, it extends out pretty far on each side of the trailer here. And the goal is to use some of this aluminum angle iron and we're gonna build a little bracket for it where it overhangs. And then we're gonna attach that bracket to the trailer. The reason we're doing a water tank like this in general is so when we go to camp, we typically stay for two weeks. And with this, it'll give us 40 gallons right here on the neck of the trailer. And then our trailer itself has 50 gallons. So now we're in this small travel trailer. A has a composting toilet and B now has almost a hundred gallons of water. So we can boondock for a very, very long time. Now we're gonna go ahead and start into the process of painting the tank. Yes, we're gonna paint it, believe it or not. And we are also going to make our bracketry. Before I get too far into painting this tank, I just wanted to show you, these are the adapters I got. It's a three quarter to a half inch. These basically thread into here, got two of those. And then I have a right angle uh, shutoff valve and I have a straight shutoff valve. My thought is, is I can open the shutoff valve on the top here, open the bottom, pump water in when I'm at a water source, and then the air that's in the tank will come out here. Very simple. And then I have shutoffs on both ends, so obviously it can be sealed up. And then, uh, like I said, I can just crack this lower one open and uh, maybe it'll gravity feed. Although the filler neck is higher, it still might gravity feed because there will be a certain amount of pressure. That might be an option. But anyways, I got an external pump and I do have a wired outlet in my bay right here. So it's not a big deal. All right, so now I'm here in my dad's garage and I wanna talk about weights. I know this is gonna be a huge question and everybody's gonna say, oh my God, you're gonna be way overweight. While I will agree, I will also say that it will be totally fine in my opinion, time will tell. Our game plan is to fill that water tank, this water tank, only when we're very close to where we plan on boondocking for two weeks. So game plan is, is we'd fill the trailer, we'd fill this water tank and we would drive a couple short miles into our camp spot where it's just gonna sit and then eventually about a week in, we will transfer it in. I did move around some of our stuff in our underbelly. I put some of the heavier items towards the back and uh, just tried to distribute that weight a little bit better. Uh, we will be overweight, I'm telling you now, we'll be overweight when this tank is full, but it's not gonna be full all the time. It's, it's an option that we can have. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of this Flex Seal to coat the tank and the reason i want to coat the tank is because water left in the sun in a clear tank will turn into a science experiment so i definitely don't want any mold or algae growing in this tank and we're going to do our best to eliminate that by painting it black with this flex seal and it'll help with road durability going down the road and being in the sun in general we also plan on making a vinyl cover for it after it's installed, just for some added protection. All right, first of all, I wanna say, don't mind the mess over here, all these toys. First and foremost, my dad, Lincoln's grandfather, buys him a bunch of toys 
uh, from garage sales and whatnot, which is freaking cool. Secondly, we put this dirt pile here because it was his birthday last week, and we had about 25 kids playing on the dirt pile. They got to go on actual tractor rides, and it was super cool, and Lincoln's been enjoying it, so we kind of left it for now. All right, we basically, we made our mark here for our aluminum. We're just gonna use a cutoff wheel to cut the aluminum, and then we're gonna measure the width of it and, and hopefully uh, build a sturdy frame that will be all bolted together to support this water tank. All right, this is kind of what our frame is looking looking like. Keeping it real simple, a measured twice, cut once. I'm gonna use some of these uh, screws here. I'm gonna countersink so that it sits flush. So when the water tank sits on there, it's not an issue. And for that, I'm just gonna use a drill bit because I don't have a countersink at my disposal. Uh, once we get the frame all together, then we're gonna hopefully use our spare pieces here to attach it down to the old battery tray on the trailer. So that's what we're looking at right there. That's our frame. You can tell we countersunk everything so it's nice and smooth edged. The tank's gonna wedge right in there. And then uh, I made these little brackets to hold the frame in place. So once the tank dries, uh, and I get one more coat on it, drop the tank in there. I'm gonna put a ratchet strap to hold the tank into place. And then uh, I'm gonna do a cover for it as well. And then uh, that'll be it. And I'll kind of show you how I'm gonna hook up my connections. But right now the tank is just drying, so I can't do too much more. The next day. Day later, we got the tank in there. It looks great being uh, black now and it will help keep that sunlight out. I uh, did two coats with the Flex Seal roll-on and uh, now I'm just gonna throw a ratchet strap around it. That's how I plan on attaching it. I'll probably put a little rubber isolator in here just because it does uh, touch. I'll probably put one over here and maybe put one on the other side and a ratchet strap in the middle uh, is gonna go around those old battery tray mounts which are like right down there. That'll hold it in place. I'm gonna install my fittings and I'm just gonna show you guys my setup on how we plan on transferring the water. It's super simple. Tank is in there, it's mounted. What I want to do now is I'm going to put some of these isolators is what I'm calling them. Basically, it was a radiator hose that I cut in half. And I'm going to slip them in between here, just in this gap, just to kind of help from rubbing and whatnot. This is our final setup here. So I attached my fitting here. And basically, I will open this one because that will let the air escape when I'm feeling water in. So my thought was I could just put this onto a normal hose at a water source, have that valve open, have this one open, it'll fill from the bottom, the air will escape out the top, and then shut this off, close both, drive to our destination, and then we'll be hooking up our short hose into our portable pump here that will pump right into our gravity-fed spigot. And what's super convenient is I have a plug right here that works off the solar, so that's basically the setup when we're gonna be transferring water. Super simple, that's how I like to keep it simple. I could have made it permanently with a switch and a pump all wired in and stuff like that, but uh, for me, typically less is more. All right, guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any tips or recommendations that you guys could give me, I would absolutely love them. I am no expert but this seems like it should work out pretty well. It's incognito and uh, it's just great having options when you're boondocking, especially with two little kids like we have. So like always, thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that like bell, all that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one.